welcome to gk mojo so we are starting this last mile to cat 2020 series so basically in the next upcoming uh, days few days we are going to upload some very important questions which will definitely help you boost your score for cat so a lot of students are under stress right now uh, very few days remaining to cat there's no uh, reason to panic there will be a series of examinations following cat and as far as cat is concerned uh, you'll see a lot of strategy videos and all that stuff and you'll get a lot of inputs from your friends family uh, colleagues how to do how to prepare and how to strategize for your cat there's only one strategy for such examinations your concepts should be clear and second thing you have to make the most of the two hours that will be available to you you have to maximize optimize and score all right so what i'll do in this uh last mile to cat 2020 series is i will cover the most important concepts which have again and again appeared in cat which we feel are most probable for your examination so these are the score booster series so even if you are doing good in your mocks you are doing very good in your mocks you are not doing that well in your mocks this series will definitely help you gain that advantage let's get started first question is what is the minimum value of mod of y plus 2 plus mod of y minus 5 plus mod of y minus 8 so these type of questions are often seen in your cat examination all right how do you do this question so there is a conventional method to do this question and there is this unconventional method that i'm going to give you first of all uh, let's suppose i draw a number line over here right so if i have to represent this uh, y plus 2 i will take minus 2 over here right because i've equated this with 0 and i'll show it as minus 2 on the number line if i have to show this on the number line this will be 5 right if i have to show this on the number line this will be 8 right so whenever they have asked you the minimum value and the number of mods are odd in this case the center most value will be your uh, value that you will put up for y over here right so over here it will be 5 plus 2 plus 5 minus 5 plus 5 minus 8 right so this will be 7 plus 0 and this will be a uh, mod of minus 3 so over here you will get 10 and this will be your answer right the minimum value of this expression will be 10 but what have you learned from here we have learned from here that whenever the number of mods such expressions is odd you will and you have been asked the minimum value of such expression you will just take the centermost value right so over here this mod can be represented as 5 right so you will substitute y equal to 5 in this whole expression and that will be the minimum value okay so here the number of expressions were 3 let it be 3 5 7 9 just the condition is it should be odd so you have to take the centermost value now the question that will arise in your mind is what if the number of odds were even right so here uh, they were odd right so what if they were even so let's suppose uh, you have this number line where we have four mods right so there will be four values on this number line right so this is let's suppose minus one three uh, seven and ten okay so in this case the value will be minimum of that expression for all values from three to seven right it would be a uh, minimum between this region so you can take any value including three and seven for which the expression will give out the minimum value all right i hope you have understood the concept now let's have a look at the next question imax vadala has seven screens it has three entrances and four exits in how many ways can not to enter the multiplex watch a movie and exit the multiplex so basically uh, what they are saying is this imax vadala multiplex it has seven screens right and three entrances and four exits right so we'll do this in the most simplest way right first nuttu has to enter right so entrance part will come first how many uh, entrances are there there are three entrances right next he will go on to watch movies right so how many uh, screens are there there are total seven screens this is one two three four five six seven okay and after watching the movie he's going to exit right and how many exits are given four one two three four right so while entering he has a total of three choices right then 
while going for the movie he has seven choices right and while exiting he has four choices right so basically in how many ways can nattu enter the multiplex watch a movie and exit the multiplex right so and is coming in between everything so number of ways will be 3 into 7 into 4 which will give you 84 ways as your answer hence the correct answer is 84 let's have a look at the question aditi while playing in a balcony of her apartment drops a ball from a height of 350 meters each time the ball rebounds it rises 4/5 meter of the height it had fallen through the total distance traveled by the ball before it comes to rest is so basically this is a very common template that is often seen in examinations theek hai iska bhi shortcut hai uh, we can do this uh, the conventional way or we can do this with a shortcut right so straight away you can apply this formula without wasting any time okay so what is this h what is this b and a i'll tell you right h is the height h is the height all right and a by b is this all right so what part of the height it rebounds all right so basically a by b corresponds to this 4 by 5 over here so basically over here a is 4 and b is 5 so i would safely assume that you would have understood what a and b represents right so next time if they say it rebounds to 3/4 of the height uh, of the previous height so over here a will be 3 and b will be 4 all right so just place the value over here it will be 350 into b plus a so that would be 5 plus 4 9 and b minus a that would be 1 right so basically 350 into 9 right so you'll get your answer as 3150 meter which is option a let's have a look at the next question which is based on set theory all right venn diagram a survey was conducted amongst 95 students who visited the rgit college canteen on a regular basis the number of students who preferred tea coffee or a fruit juice in a break was as follows coffee 28 tea and fruit juice 6 only tea 35 all 3 4 coffee and fruit juice 10 tea and coffee 7 none 7 how many preferred only fruit juice so basically first the complete set is of 95 students right and there are three parameters over here what are those parameters tea coffee and fruit juice right so basically something like this you will have so let's suppose this is tea this is coffee and this is your fruit juice right so what have they given to us they have given to us first of all that only tea is 35 right so this specific part is only tea which is 35 right apart from that we know coffee is 28 complete coffee so this will come outside right this complete circle is uh, coffee right uh, all three is given as 4 so this over here comes out to be 4 right now coffee and fruit juice is given to be 10 all right coffee and fruit juice right so out of that 4 is already in the all three section so coffee and fruit juice will be 6 over here right only coffee and fruit juice because all three is 4 understood now tea and coffee is given to be 7 right but again all three is 4 so over here you will have 3 that is only tea and only coffee together are 3 right similarly so we can find out only coffee now because we have got this data over here for all the other parameters of coffee so you will have it 15 over here right how 28 minus 3 25 minus 4 uh, 21 minus 6 15 right so only coffee is 15 okay now people uh, students sorry who prefer tea and fruit juice is 6 right so over here we will have 2 because already all 3 is 4 so tea and fruit juice will be considered in that as well as over here so over here you will have 2 right so all in all we have got all the uh, numbers arranged and outside you will have 7 because this is none this these are the students who drink nothing all right so basically this let this be x this would be the value that we need to find out right so how you can find out this value so now if you see this complete t right how much is it 35 plus 338 plus 442 plus 244 right 
plus this uh, uh, leftover of coffee how much is it 6 right and 15 okay plus this x of only juice all right plus this 7 which is none of uh, students who are drinking nothing this should be equal to 95 right so if you do the addition you'll have 72 plus x is equals to 95 and x is equals to 95 minus 72 which is 23 hence how many preferred only fruit juice 23 students preferred only fruit juice that is your correct answer so let's have a look at this question so over here this uh, terms are given right and some conditions are given and you need to solve this all right so if you see in the question they have asked you 2009 term right is it possible to calculate all the terms it is not possible so whenever you have such a question you have to find out a pattern all right so if you find out a pattern for two or three terms you'll get that pattern and you'll be able to find out your answer very easily right so never leave these questions uh 99 of the students are going to leave this question but i'll show you how this question is pretty much easy right so i have rewritten the question over here so we know t0 over here is 6 by 7 right let us find t1 over here now right we'll find the first term now right so t1 which which one of the formula will you use you you will use this or this right so we have to calculate to uh, tn plus 1 now right because this is tn we will calculate in tn plus 1 so we know that this t0 which is equals to 6 by 7 this is greater than 1 by 2 right hence we'll use this correct so what will you have over here you'll have 2 into 6 by 7 minus 1 right which is 12 by 7 minus 1 so let's take 7 over here so what you get is 5 by 7 right so in short value of t1 is 5 by 7 right now even this value is greater than 1 by 2 right so again you'll use this only in the next formula which is for t2 right so again it will be 2 into 5 by 7 minus 1 so 10 by 7 minus 1 all right equating you get 3 by 7 right now this value is lesser than 1 by 2 right so now for the next term you'll use this this expression so t third will be equals to 2 times of 3 by 7 which is 6 by 7 right now what can we conclude from here you can see that this is also equals to t0 right see over here this is 6 by 7 and also this comes out to be 6 by 7 so this sequence repeats every three terms therefore uh, the closest to this number which is divisible by 3 will be t2007 right this will be divisible by 3 hence uh, the value of this term will be definitely be 6 by 7 right and so the next term will be how much the next term will be this 5 by 7 right because the sequence will continue in this similar way and the next term will be 3 by 7 right so basically what have they asked they have asked 7 into t2009 right so this 7 into 3 by 7 7 7 gets cancelled and the final answer is 3 hence what is the value of this term it comes out to be 3 i hope you would have understood the process all right the process is important because you're not gonna get a uh, same to same question in your cat right with all the values and all that stuff you'll get some different types of question conceptual question but if you have understood the method that we have used over here the process that we have uh, utilized you'll be able to do that question pretty easily so that's all in this video please visit us at gkmojo.com thank you